This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information and to find out how you can volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read and recorded by Betsy Bush. Marquette, Michigan, April 2006. Fables for the Frivolous by Guy Wetmore Carroll. The Iconoclastic Rustic and the Apropos Acorn. Reposing neath some spreading trees, a populistic bumpkin amused himself by offering these reflections on a pumpkin. I would not, if the choice were mine, grow things like that upon a vine, for how imposing it would be if pumpkins grew upon a tree. Like other populists, you'll note, a view enthusiastic, he'd learned by heart and said by rote a creed iconoclastic. And in his dim, uncertain sight, whatever wasn't must be right, from which it follows he had strong convictions that what was, was wrong. As thus he sat beneath an oak, an acorn fell abruptly and smote his nose, whereat he spoke of acorns most corruptly. Great Scott, he cried, the Dickens, too, and other authors whom he knew and having duly mentioned those, he expeditiously arose. Then, though with pain he nearly swooned, he bathed his organ nasal with arnica, and soothed the wound with extract of witch-hazel. And surely he may well excuse the victim if he changed his views. If pumpkins fell from trees like that, he murmured, where would I be at? Of course, it's wholly clear to you that, when these words he uttered, he proved conclusively he knew which side his bread was buttered. And if this point you have not missed, you'll learn to love this populist, the only one of all his kind, with sense enough to change his mind. The Moral In the early spring, a pumpkin tree would be a thing, most gratifying to us all, but how about the early fall? End of the Iconoclastic Rustic and the Apropos Acorn